Your seat. We're getting ready to start our program. If you can please take your seat. First, I just want to welcome everyone to MVP's first annual banquet. We made it. We made it. First, I would just want to acknowledge if there are any elected officials in the room, if you can please stand at this time, any elected officials. All right. I know we have, um, we have a lot of clergy. We have a lot of community people. Imams are here. I don't want to um, mispronounce anyone, so if you're here, you can stand. But I do want to first thank our gold sponsors. Okay, so Ms. Sharon Cobbett, Buffalo Public Schools, <laughs> President of the Common Council Board, and I know Sister Ramona is here as well. I want to thank our gold sponsors that are here, our gold sponsors. We have Mohammed Udin, who's running for Lovejoy Council Member District over here. There you go. Stand so they know who you are. We also have Iman Eddie Egru is here. He's also running. We have Mohammed Osman from the Bangladesh community table over there. Brother Khalid from the Buffalo Trade Center, and MD Ramon, thank you for coming. And also, Mr. David Russ of Say Yes. We thank you for here. All right, so I am now going to give our director a chance to do a welcome. Hello, everyone. Thank you, thank you again for coming. I'm just going to be really quick. I just also wanted to mention that uh, Matt, Dr. Matthew Giordano, the president of Villa Maria is also a sponsor. Uh, Snug is also a sponsor. Uh, unfortunately, they couldn't be here. Paula uh, Kobanek Spiro is at uh, ECMC. They had their gala tonight, so unfortunately, she couldn't come. And Matt is stuck in Pittsburgh. So I, I told him that I would make sure I let everyone know that. Uh, but we don't have much time, so I'm not going to talk a lot now. I will say a few words a little bit later on, but we want to just get to the show. And that is your cue, Emmanuel. If somebody's wanting to shoot and kill a 17 year old, that person has to be taken off the street immediately. Buffalo police making a plea to neighbors in the fruit belt as they try to track down and arrest whoever is behind a heartbreaking double murder. 54 year old Yvette Johnson and her 17 month old grandson, Kyrie, were shot and killed on the front porch of Johnson's Grape Avenue home. Two other family members were also injured by gunfire. The shooting happened during a family gathering. Now, as Buffalo peacemakers ask neighbors if they know anything, another community group is getting involved. As of an eyewitness news reporter, even Cole Dementry explains, all new at 11, this new group is growing rapidly, and they say it's because families are fed up with gun violence. So can you tell us a little bit about your organization and kind of the reason that you decided to start this? Yes, yes. In 2018, there was a rash of gun violence in Buffalo, particularly on the east side of Buffalo. There was a young lady, Yvette, which was a friend of most of ours, uh, grandmother, who was killed with her 18-month-old grandchild in, on Grape Street in the fruit belt. And it bothered me. It bothered me. And uh, I was talking to the old lady. And I made a Facebook post. I said, let's sit together as parents of our community and take some responsibility for our children. And let's come together and uh, let's United a thousand parents on social media. Um, United a thousand parents and let's stand in solidarity to speak to gun violence, to eradicate gun violence in our community. And, um, and, and I mean, the comments started slowly. It was almost that I wish I could took it back because I knew this was going to impose a duty on me now. And they wouldn't let me out. I just want to make a note that no, this over, is, it's not, it's not over, but I just want to make a note that this is the actual Facebook post that first went out that started MVP on Brother Neil Dobbins' Facebook page. And then, where can we be? So, I, um, I said, you know, the community and I suggest that we be here at Thursday. I'm always in access to my coach basketball and work with young people there with basketball. So um, 
I said, let's meet at Delbert Shopping Center, Thursday, 6 o'clock. And people were wrapped around the building. I mean, they were there. And so that gave birth to the MVP. And, you know, the rest is kind of history. We kept meeting every Monday. And we met in different churches uh, all over the city. And then we took the MVP and, you know, inspiration came, MVP, Mothers and Men. Minus the feet, which is five. Our first feet. logo. <laughs> so, and we created a logo. And, and so that's, you know, the rest is kind of history. We've been meeting. Well, I don't think we've missed a Monday meeting for the last two and a half years. We know the pain of that lady's family that was murdered yesterday, the mother of that baby that was killed yesterday. We know their pain. We share that pain. Dobbins' son, Neil Jr., died from gun violence a few years before, and his death became a main driver for Dobbins to create the group NVP. The M stands for mothers and men, minus the V, which is violence, equals the P, which is peace. Less than 24 hours after this latest shooting, Dobbins and about a dozen other volunteers were out canvassing the Central Park area. They've been going into neighborhoods for the past month, and already 400 NVPs have joined. We aim to reach to 1,000 parents again to stand with unity and solidarity to find a way to suppress this violence in our community. The group says they are just beginning their efforts, and with this latest shooting on Grape Street, they have a renewed sense of mission. We're running this like a military campaign. We're going to occupy these two neighborhoods, and we're going to arrest them, and we're going to stay here until we see our people in a better condition. And in six weeks, we're going to the two building off of that same fellowship, that same love. Yeah. 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 We, 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 we unite our community because we know that if we do that, we'll get the synergistic value that will bring about meaningful change. So that's our thinking, an interdependent, synergistic um, type of thinking. And we know that's the absolute problem. Brother, it's just. I'll be together, I'll call just the other night at 12 o'clock. I know, yeah, you see my nose is running. And it's been a very emotional, um, you know, just seeing how when we started, and I just wanted to take, to start off with showing how our founder, Neil Dobbins, worked so hard and came with this vision, and obviously the legacy continues. So I thank you all. I know for some of you over here might not have been able to see it, so we are going to post it on Facebook, on our MVPs of Buffalo Facebook page, and I want to send a special thank you to Emmanuel who helped me put the video together in a very short amount of time. <laughs> I thank you. And Mia has a call to action? Yes, I do. Uh, is it 8 o'clock? They yes. can lift the lights up. It, you oh, you lights. can lift the lights up if you need to to pass out the food, okay? All right, so we started off just like MVP started off with our founder, Neil Dobbins. And I would like for you to uh, join in with me on a call to action. When I say Neil, you say Dobbins. Neil. Dobbins. Neil. Dobbins. When I say who are we, you say MVP. Who are we? MVP. Who are we? MVP. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So... I just wanted to say, you know, real quick, we're gonna we're getting ready to start with the awards while they pass out the food. But every day I work side by side with Neil, and I'm trying not to get emotional. It's so difficult. Um, but I work side by side with him, and I I know what his vision was, and I promised him. I said. You know, not that we knew what was going to happen. I just promised him I got your back on a daily. You know, whatever you need, I got your back. I always had his back, and I told him I would always have his back. And I meant that. And for the last two years, we have been continuing what he started. And we will continue what he started. Now, I may not do things exactly the way he does them, but at the end of the day, we're, you know, the goal is the same. We're going to keep in mind everything that Neil started. So all the things that MVP is doing now is 
from what Neil started. We're continuing. We might be doing it a little bit differently uh, in some aspects, but at the end of the day, our goal is the same, to get the guns off the street, to stop the violence, to support the parents, to create synergy, to have collaboration. That's what MVP is all about, and that's what we will continue to do. Today is about showing honor to Neil. It's about showing appreciation to the MVP members that have been steadfast and about us showing appreciation to those people outside of our organization that have helped us to continue and people that have joined our organization and helped us. But it takes a team, it takes a village, like our shirt says. We have to all do this together. One individual cannot do it alone. We have to all do it together. It's gonna take the medical uh, professionals, it's gonna take the police, the government, the parents, the community, the educators. We all have to work together. And that's what MVP is about, bringing folks together and creating that synergy. So let's get to the awards so that we can show our appreciation. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and thanks again for coming. Okay, so um, since he's not here. Yeah. All right, so he's not here. So ironically, I know the food is being served, so I was gonna call up Pastor James Giles, the pastor in the house, to do the prayer. But he's actually up for our first Legacy Award. So, two birds with one flower, Pastor James Giles is receiving our Legacy Continues Award. Pastor James Giles. Oh, they love you, Pastor Giles. I, I can't even read the award for you. His award says, you played a vital role in our foundation and your wisdom and passionate spirit helped guide our path and your influence has been profound, as we see, because everybody in the room know you. This award is a token of our deep appreciation for your steadfast support and unwavering dedication. From MVP, we love you. Make sure you take a picture of Khalil. Give him a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Giles? You. Two minutes. Don't give us a sermon now, but I know you. Right. You, you follow orders. I follow orders to the letter. Uh, but I just want to say uh, this is an honor, and I certainly want to say that I extremely miss Neil's passion, his energy, his language that he used. And so, but the movement has continued through Mia. Mia, you've done an amazing job. And for the MVP family, God bless you all. You know I'm part of MVP. You know who was there in the beginning. And we're going to be here to the end. Thank you. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Prayer for our food. Oh, food. All mine's clear. We're going to pray. All mine's clear. Okay. God in heaven, you who are the creator and the sustainer of life, we thank you for this assembly. We thank you for this gathering that you have here today. We pray your blessings be upon the event, your blessings be upon this organization. And now, God, I ask that you would bless the food which has been prepared for the nourishment of our bodies as we pledge our bodies for thy service. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. All right. All right, our next legacy award. Let's do Sharon, and that way I can put all of them in order. Oh, okay. okay. You want to do this? I'll go help her. Go ahead. Okay. I'll do Sharon next. Okay, our next award that we're going to present is to our beautiful sister Sharon Belton Cotman. You can come on up, our Buffalo Public School Board President. And your award says, Ms. Cotman. Yeah, all right, another person we love. You are receiving this award because your indomitable spirit and strategic foresight have opened doors that have revolutionized our organization's trajectory and make an indelible difference in our journey towards unparalleled success. We love you, my sister. Thank you. Sure? Yes, you get to stack up, but you got to go.
Thank you, MVP. I am MVP. Okay. You guys, I love you. I thank you for hearing the call and answering it when we needed a parent group that represented parents and the community. Brother Neil is my brother from another mother and I love him, but I love each and every one of you. When we start focusing in on what's important, we get it done. And one thing Neil knew, he knew to have some people around him who was going to handle some business, and he did that. So thank you for this award. To God be the glory, and I will continue to support you, and I want to work on the anti-violence, the anti-gun. I want that TR amendment repealed, okay, repealed, whatever you call it. Neil said do it, and I'm going to do it. Amen. <laughs> thank you, my sister. Our next Legacy Award goes to our sister, Paulette Counts. She's having someone come up and accept her award from New Hope Baptist Church. And it says, Sister Paulette, you are receiving this award for your unwavering beacon of loyalty, dedication, and support. We honor you for your steadfast alliance since the inception of our organization. When I tell you that sister will make copies, no matter how many copies I have her make and minutes and emails and things on the drop, she does it for us. She would come and open up the church doors for us. I don't want to get her in trouble. I won't, don't tell too much. But you know how we like to talk and stay long, but she will stay right with us. So we love you, sis. We appreciate you, and we Thank you. Thank you. Our next award is Dr. Ramona Reynolds. I feel like saying, come on down. Dr. Ramona Reynolds, also from the Buffalo Public Schools. This sister right here, beautiful sister. She a queen. Y'all see the walk. Y'all see the walk. <laughs> MVP honors you for your unwavering reliability and exceptional commitment to collaboration, which has resulted in a tremendous positive impact in our community and most of all, our Buffalo Public Schools. This sister here made and paved the way for us to go into Bennett Parent Centers to start our When Parents Ask for Help program and now also to assist us with the contract we have in the Buffalo Public Schools. We thank you for seeing and believing in us. We love you more. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm going to take one more. Three, two, one. Thank, Thank you, you, Beauty so Queen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's get him. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Our next Legacy Award goes to Mr. John Elmore. One of the best proficient attorneys in the city of Buffalo. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. <laughs> Just don't go suing nobody in here. Mr. Elmore, your award is for recognition of your unwavering support, dedication, and charismatic representation as a sponsor and spokesman for MVP. We gratefully honor you as an exceptional individual and, of course, businessman. We thank you. Oh. John has been on marches with us. He has hit the pavement with us, passed out MVP flyers and doors, and sponsored everything that we asked for. So we thank you for that. Thank you. And if you need any legal services, his ad is in the back. Quick plug, quick plug. Oh. Thank you, MVP. Uh, Neil Dobbins was a close friend of mine and it was an honor to be a friend of his. One thing that I, that I learned from Neil is that you can create a movement with just a little. He didn't need a lot to get things going. And I remember as he was going around the community signing up people, um, he asked me to donate some money for some hot dogs because if he said if we had the hot dogs, they'll, they'll come when he had, the, he had the tent. And so I have a, have a big, big task uh, ahead of me representing some of the victims of the May 14th uh, shooting and, and lawsuit against uh, Google, some of the firearms uh, manufacturers and Meta and Facebook and all of those. And, uh, you know, I'm just taking it like Neil. He started out with so little, but uh, 
we have the east side on our, uh, with us, and, and that's all we need. It's even Steven, so thank you. Thank you. Can we get a picture? Can we yes. get a picture, picture. With We got a picture. picture. Okay. Come on. Hold your award. Let's get a picture with you. Okay. Do, oh, you took one already? I took two. Oh, okay. It's oh, good. All right. All right. Thank you. Legacy Award goes to our sister, wonderful sister, Jessica Bauer Walker from Connect Community Health Workers. She helps us keep our sanity. <laughs> and your award says the Guiding Light Award. Mia came up with that. Recognizing the unwavering beacon of mentorship and guidance illuminating our organization's path. You are a trailblazer in so many ways and have taught us the importance of self-care and significance of taking a breath. That was me right there. <laughs> I'll say Okay. I, I want to say something before Jessica says something. Um, you know, there's been so many people that have helped MVP as an organization. Um, there's been a lot of people that has done a lot of things. Um, however, Jessica has personally done for me. I mean, she's done for MVP, but she's helped me internally, inside, get through this because it's been very, it was very difficult losing Neil and then trying to start an organization, well not start, but continue an organization on top of grieving was very difficult. And I met Jessica like maybe two weeks after I joined MVP and I met her at a mindfulness festival. So I knew that it had to be something from God. I mean, it was just meant to be. And she has been by my side ever since that moment, helping in every way possible. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I thank you so much. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, thank you so much for this honor, and I just want to give thanks to uh, Carlanda and Mia and all the amazing work that they do behind the scenes, which is often unrecognized. All of our MVPs, all the people that have played a role in this amazing organization, um, the memory of Brother Neil and his legacy, and I appreciate everybody continuing to carry on his legacy. He would just be so proud and pleased to see the work that has been done and everybody here tonight. So thank you, and um, we are community health workers. I am glad to be with my table here of community health workers, including my daughter and one of our student community health workers, um, Erie County Restorative Justice Coalition. <laughs> and we just were, are really working to build a healthy and peaceful community, and we need everybody here to help us do that. So thank you, and I hope that you have an enjoyable evening. Thank you. Thank you. Our next Legacy Award goes to Dina Thompson. <laughs> Erie County Restorative Justice Center, the one who taught us how to do restorative circles for peace. I don't know that the table setting looks like a restorative circle. We might get one started up in here. You are receiving this award for your tireless efforts in implementing restorative practices have been the foundation of our organization's resilience and prevented our imminent and imminent collapse. Your circles has brought us peace within each other and obviously to one another. And we thank you for that. We appreciate you. Before she goes. And I have to say uh, something too before you get your award. Um, the first day that you came into the church, um, Chapel, what is um, Bible Chapel, Chap Kenny. what, Kenny's Church, what, uh, Pastor oh, Kenny's Church. Uh, <laughs> we call it Kenny's <laughs> Church. Uh, yeah, Cold Spring Cold Bible, Bible Chapel, Chapel. Pastor Spring, Kenny Chapel. Ooh, Simmons Kenny. Church, yes. The first day you came in there, I could just feel your energy. And after you spoke, I told myself, that's a sister I'm gonna need to get with. <laughs> and we've been, God has just made it a way for us to continue working together from that day. And I appreciate you so much because I just feel like we're the trifecta, you know, all us three working together. And you know, God puts people in your life for a reason. And I really just appreciate what you've done for MVP and what you have done for me. Thank you. 
Thank you. So MVP, you already know I love you, right? So that, that's just like so without saying, because it is very rarely that you get to meet people who, are, who don't only do the work, but they are the work. MVP is the work. Um, and so you set an example for all of us to follow. And I'm so honored and humbled to be a part of your family. So we family now. We cousins, we sisters, we aunties. And so we family now. And so I am so honored to be part of this. I'm so honored and humbled by this award. So thank you. It means so much to me. I speak directly to my sisters and my brothers over here because I love them so much. So thank you so much. Thank you. I'll take a quick picture. All right, our next Legacy Award goes to Paula Kovanek Spiro, and I know she's not here, but if someone from Snug can come up and accept her award for Brave, thank you. And the award says she has been a beacon of wisdom, illuminating a path to success for MVP, and her insight and support is truly appreciated beyond measure. Thank you, sis. Thank Would you so like much. to say any words on behalf of Brave? Thank you. Did she ask you to say anything? I can make something up. Hello, I'm Adrian. <laughs> I am one of the Snug Site social workers, so we work. Paula's basically all of our bosses, so um, she will really appreciate this award. I just want to say for all the partners that are in here, the work that we do is very, very difficult. So we just appreciate all the collaboration with like the different families, the homicide victims and things like that because it takes everybody to support like the community and the families because the work we do is really hard. So clap it up for yourselves. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. All right, our next Legacy Award goes to my dear friend and brother. Oh, I was supposed to give him a warning. Okay, so you can start your live video now. Brother Muhammad Osman Shamal. He said, Carlanda, you have to tell me so I could go live. So I forgot a little bit, but I'm sure someone has your camera to go live. Brother Muhammad Osman, you are receiving this award for your prestigious MVP sponsorship award. It's presented to you for your extraordinary individual who has wholeheartedly supported and sponsored the highest number of events for MVP, making a remarkable impact on the community. Thank you for your kind-hearted spirit and helping us to bridge the gap for all. One of the things I could say about Brother Osman is he is always coming to the charge with ideas. He has employment opportunities. He holds job fairs. He just takes the initiative to give to the community. And not just his community, but our community, but all of our communities. And we should clap for that because his initiative with us working together has opened a lot of doors for MVP, but it has also helped us to work with the Bengali community as one, because that's what it's all about. We live in the same community, we are neighbors to each other, so we have to work and support one another, and we thank you for that. We love you, we love you all. Thank you, we love you, thank you. Take a picture. Two minutes, okay. two minutes, don't we gotta get through. Yeah. Yeah. Osman has his own entourage. Uh, 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 thank you very much. Who we are? MVP. Who we are? MVP. Uh, me and me. Thank you, Mia, and thank you, Kalanda. Uh, we are working, bridging the gap. Uh, bridging the gap because uh, every time I say one thing. Uh, we are working for the God people. We are in same God, same blood, right. and working for His people. So it doesn't matter the color, uh, where I'm from, but we are working for God people, and we are working for the community. So all community as one, and bridging the gap. And uh, Bengali community in Buffalo, that's rising every day. But me, Kalanda, and Mia, we did a lot of community outreach. There was a lot of fight also. Uh, we always solve that. Anything happen, we are trying to solve that. So this is the bridging the gap. We try to uh, bridge the gap in our community. We don't want to... Uh, we we want to know each other. It doesn't matter what color we are from and where I'm from. So I'm proud MBF members, and I love MBF. And this reward uh, give me for more work. Yes.
And I promise, I promise I'm gonna do more work for community uh, as much as I can. I try to do it until my death. And I love America, I love Buffalo, I wanna uh, community work in my blood. Thank you! I'm, I wanna work, and I'm proud member of MBF, and thank you MBF, and um, I'm amazing when I see 24 by 7, Mia, Kalanda, they're working, that's tremendous job that you guys are doing for city of Buffalo, for our community, uh, to bridging the gap, make, bring peace and love. Thank you. So we have to bring peace and love. Thank you very much. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. This legacy award is going to go to Matthew Giordano. Uh, Matt's not here. He's not here. Is no. there someone here to set for him? No, no, no. Okay. Thank you. Um, th this is just really, really meaningful. I'm, I, I met Neil through my my sister Sharon and my, my brother Kenny Simmons, and I met Mia and Je through Jess. Um, I just have a deep appreciation for the work of to have a seat at the table. I've always felt that those that are closest to the opportunity have the best answers. And MVP, you are. Our next award is Cortesia Solomon Carter. Come on down, beautiful. Dr. Cortesia, your Legacy Award. This is for your exceptional dedication and outstanding contributions have propelled our organization to new heights. Thank you for constantly going above and beyond. Well, hello, MVP and people representing with us. Come on, MVP, I said. Thank you for this award. I'm kind of brief with my words, but I'm just going to say that we as a community stay together, keep growing, keep building, keep doing these things. We can make it, we can achieve it together. MVP, we have power and we have strength. Continue this legacy. Yes, thank you. Lee Ashrush, if you can come on down. I'm so used to calling you Dr. Katie. <laughs> we thank you. They record data, thereby elevating our professionalism and organizational progress. We proudly present this award to you, an extraordinary woman who embodies the true spirit of MVP. And she's part of MVP. So I'm originally from this area in Western New York, but I've been away for about the last 10 years. And so I had the opportunity to come back and work at UB as a faculty and to come work with us. And so, you know, I'm very honored and grateful uh, for the opportunity to really work with y'all, to really collaborate with y'all, because that's, that's really what drives my work. Um, and so I'm really privileged to, to be here, and I'm always forever grateful to you all. Like I tell y'all, you know, in those meetings that, you know, I work with graduate students, but you all do more and know more than those graduate students that I'm training. <laughs> you know, so it's a privilege, and I love y'all, and, and I look forward to our work in the future, so. Thank you. At this time, I am going to ask if our. Hey, you look nice. Love it. Got a little whoop. All right. You can Do that again. Know him. I, I, I like that whoop whoop effect. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. It's certainly a great pleasure to be here with most valuable parents, MVP. I want to just congratulate Mia Ears and uh, thank her as president of this great organization for all the work that they're doing to make a difference in the lives of our children. Let's give Mia a great big round of applause. I also want to recognize and remember the late uh, founder, Neil Dobbins, who was so instrumental in bringing all of this together. Uh, so many great honorees tonight, uh, people who are doing wonderful things in the community and really making a difference in the lives of our children. Uh, we say our children are the future, that they are our future, and everyone in this room and this organization is working to make a bright future for our children. Thank you all very much for supporting Thank MVP. You missed your cameo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll make sure it be posted. You want to take a picture? Yeah. Oh, definitely. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Take one more. Three, two, one. 
Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Tim? He said, I'm ready. I come ready. <laughs> MVP honors you with this award because you have consistently embodied a strong voice of support and encouragement, motivating MVP to persevere and keep going. We thank you, Brother Sam. Thank you. No, he's going to talk anyway. Yeah, I'm going to get my comments when I get my comments. Come on, man. Now, in the presence of God in me, but the presence of God in each and every one of us, and with a prayer that we all can always do that all the time. I also want to um, acknowledge the presence of our ancestors. And in particular, today, um, our ancestor, Neil Dobbins. And I'm going to ask everybody, if you can, join with me to do a little bit of a libation um, as it relates to our ancestor, Neil Dobbins. Anybody ever seen the movie Amistad? There's a scene in the movie Amistad where CQ is getting ready to go for trial. He said he makes a statement where he calls on the ancestors. And I want us right now, all of us, to call on our ancestor, Brother Neil Dobbins, and I want us to do it together. So I wonder if we all can right now, I'm gonna read what St. Q said, and I'm gonna ask us to do a experience together. He says, a call to the ancestors. I will call into the past, far back to the beginning of time and beg the ancestor to come and help us. I'm also asking you to now take a moment and think of your favorite Neil Dobbins moment. And just meditate on it and bring him into the room with us. Bring him into our hearts. The one who know how we got here today they know the story. They live the story. And it's especially important for children to see who the elders are. Because you're not going to get the whole story out of a book. Some of the story, you got to talk to the people who lived it. And so in our tradition, we honor you as ancestors. We honor you as elders. We honor the God and the ancestors, but we honor you as elders for keeping the story of our God and our ancestors alive. So at this point, we request permission from the elders to begin. Permission for the elders to begin. Thank you. Another round of applause for the elders. We appreciate you being with us. We have a lot more work to do, and we need your help to do it. So please go to joinmvp.org and sign up. Help us. And now, we got a, one thing I do want to say. We get ready to party, so those of you who are going to stay, I want to say,
Your relentless efforts of time, money, and support has continued the legacy to grow MVP into the credible and successful organization it is today. We love you, and we appreciate everything you have done for us. Love always the most valuable. Okay.